Hi, my name is Carrie Cusack, and I'm the executive chef of Balance Treatment Center. Today we're going to make an angel food cake. When people come into the house, they get put on a really healthy diet, and we want to make sure that they get treats every now and then, so angel food cake is a great way to go. It's super low sugar and super low fat, so they can indulge and not feel bad about it. Actually, a piece of this cake is only 110 calories. We're gonna make this cake today with coconut sugar and coconut cream for the whipped cream. So it's filled with multi-chain fatty acids, which are great to lower cholesterol and really good for your overall health. So let's go ahead and start. We're gonna start with egg whites and whip them. It's better to use room temperature egg whites when you're making a cake because it just adds a lot more volume and helps them whip. So, if you have a fancy mixer like this, it's great, but you can use a handheld mixer as well. It'll just take a little bit longer. So, we're going to add flour. I like to use all-purpose flour for this recipe because it's a little bit lighter than a whole wheat flour. You could completely use whole wheat flour if you wanted to, but the all-purpose is going to make it lighter. When we're talking angel food cake, we want it to be as light as possible, so anything heavy is going to weigh it down. So we take half of our coconut sugar and the flour, and all you do is whip it together. If you had a food processor, you could use a food processor as well, but a whisk works easily. This is about halfway through the mixing process, and the egg whites are going to get nice and fluffy and get little bubbles all over them. That's what you want when you add your cream of tartar and your sea salt. Go ahead, add that in, and then you're gonna turn it on. Keep mixing until you have your nice peaks, and that's where we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. Next, we're going to add the coconut sugar. Coconut sugar is absolutely wonderful for you. It doesn't really mess with your glycemic index, so it's really good for people who have blood sugar issues, for diabetics. It comes from the sap of the coconut tree, and it's just something I love to cook with. It has a very molasses-like taste, and you'll notice when you eat this angel food cake that it's not the typical plain vanilla. This gives it more of a caramel flavor. It's absolutely scrumptious. So we're gonna add this to the soft peak stage of our whipped egg whites. Next, we're going to add real vanilla. I love to use real vanilla. The fake stuff is a wood byproduct. It's weird, we have no idea what's in it, so we always use real vanilla when we cook at Balance. Just a couple teaspoons. Blend it through, and then we're almost finished with our cake. So the final step is to add the mixed flour and the rest of the coconut sugar. As you'll notice, the egg whites are gonna be nice and firm, really fluffy, and that's gonna give our cake tons of volume. So all you're going to want to do is fold in the dry ingredients. I add in just a little bit, gently stir it in, and then we're gonna fold in the rest. Basically, you just wanna mix it long enough until you see no more dry streaks. You don't wanna overwork it or your cake's going to fall. As you can see, compared to a typical angel food cake, this is nice and golden, and that's all that beautiful coconut sugar that's giving it that lovely hue. And we're good to go. Make sure to preheat your oven to 325 degrees. And once your pan is full, just pop it in the oven. It's okay if it looks bumpy and rough. You don't wanna wrap it on the counter. You don't wanna try and get it all even. Once again, it's really delicate and it's gonna fall. Place it in your oven, only cooks for about 30, 35 minutes, and then you have a beautiful cake. So in about 35 minutes, your cake is going to be done. It's a little special um, in cooling this cake because if you were to cool it traditionally on a cake rack, it's going to collapse upon itself and you're gonna have this little hockey puck, delicious hockey puck, but a little tiny cake. So what I do is I get two equal sized cans out of my cupboard, turn the cake upside down and let it cool that way. That way the cake is going to just not fall upon itself and it's going to cool and be nice and thick and lovely and light. After it's cooled for about 45 minutes to one hour, you simply need to flip it over and take a butter knife just go around the edges, it's gonna pry right out. You don't have to worry about it sticking. Once our cake is finished, you can garnish it with absolutely anything. We use dark chocolate sauce, chocolate shavings, berries, but we always like to use coconut whipped cream as the piece de resistance. 
So all coconut whipped cream is, is any type of coconut cream that you like. You can get it at any grocery store at all. I love this brand because it's super thick and luscious and so delicious. If I know I'm gonna make this cake, I'll pop this into the refrigerator the night before. You could do it the morning of, but you want it to be really nice and cold. I put my mixer bowl and my mixing attachment in the freezer as well. The colder, the better. Simply put the coconut cream into your mixing bowl and turn it on. And in about five minutes, you're gonna have thick, luscious, delicious coconut cream. We're not adding sugar to our recipe, but you could completely add a little bit of sweetener of your choice, xylitol, honey, agave, whatever you like. A little vanilla is great as well. And eat it on everything, it's delicious. So here's our finished cake. As you can see, it's this golden, delicious little angel food cake. And the fun part is decorating it and putting whatever you want on it. So this cake we're gonna do fresh berries. Um, something fun that we do at the house is go to the farm once a month and pick berries and lots of meat vegetables. So on Fridays we come home and use everything in the kitchen. So great berries from the farm. Next we're going to add a big dollop of our yummy coconut cream. So delicious and luscious. This stuff is great as well because you can whip it up and it's going to last three to five days in your refrigerator. So you can seriously eat it on everything. We eat it on pancakes and waffles, yogurt, fruit cups. It's delicious. And finally, some nice toasted coconut and you have a perfect dessert. Did you know that a blueberry is an absolute powerhouse of antioxidants, metabolism boosters, and mood lifters. A cup of these a day can absolutely change your mindset and make you feel great. You should definitely eat your fruit. Eating a diet filled with natural and real food is amazing for you. Not just your body, but your brain as well. You'll notice the changes, you're going to feel better, you're going to have mental clarity, and your life is simply going to change. At Balance, we make it a priority for each and every client to be the best that they can possibly be. Thanks so much for joining us today. Be sure to check back and see what's going on in the Balance Kitchen. Please look at the links below for more information and be sure to visit balancetreatment.com for more recipes and nutritional tips.